A developing story we're following tonight. We are learning more about the 17-year-old boy who died in U.S. immigration custody here in Florida. Angel Aruaro Mardiago Espinoza died on May 10th, just five days after coming into HHS care. The teen was placed at a facility in Safety Harbor called Gulf Coast Jewish Family and Community Services. And that's where our Hannah Deneen is tonight. And Hannah, we are now hearing from that teen's family. Miranda, as the medical examiner investigates his death, we're learning more about this 17-year-old boy. His mother telling the Associated Press that all he wanted was to live the American dream, adding that he had no known illnesses and showed no signs being sick leading up to his death. I can't imagine the grieving that Angel Eduardo's mother and family are experiencing in this moment. Shaylin Fluherty, the executive director of Florida-based Americans for Immigrant Justice, calling for answers about the death of a Honduran teen migrant in HHS custody. Uphold a accountable, honest, public-facing investigation into what has happened to this young person. According to HHS, right now there are more than 8,000 unaccompanied children in its care. When you have an unaccompanied child who arrives in the United States and after detainment, they must be released to um, HHS and the Office of Refugee Resettlement. Thomas Felke is a refugee and immigration policy expert. If they have a sponsor or a family member or a family friend in country, then generally they make the effort to try and unify the unaccompanied minor with those individuals. If not, then those individuals are taken to a shelter. Such shelters are contracted out by DHHS to various organizations, like Gulf Coast Jewish Family and Community Services. In Florida, such facilities are not licensed by the state due to a dispute between the federal government and the DeSantis administration. So what the DeSantis administration did was um, they basically said that they were not going to license these type of migrant shelter facilities. And so therefore, they have oversight at the federal level from HHS and uh, the Office of Refugee Resettlement. Tonight, the cause of this teen's death remains under investigation. We will update you as soon as we learn more. Meanwhile, the demand on shelters like this now only expected to grow as Title 42 is lifted. In Safety Harbor, Hannah Deneen, 10 Tampa Bay.